Alright guys, welcome back. This video is a request from my period 7 class. So here's the demo for how to get started with your branding template once you've decided on what your best business card layout is. So after you've come up with your three different layouts, it's time to analyze which one is your best one. If you need my help, just ask. I'm going to take this one as my favorite and I'm going to paste it over here. So I've got my front and my back. My card looks great. The alignments are all good. Fonts are there. Colors are there. I'll kind of zoom in and show you what I did. Um, everything's aligning. So under the N, I want to make sure that the M aligns under there. The W under the S. Same with here. I want to make sure everything is aligning. So there's a nice white space around the edge. Uh, maybe this one could be a little bit more centered, maybe a little bit larger. So just do your fine tuning on your business card so everything looks good to go. It's going to make the rest of your job very easy for the rest of this project. So now that you have this design, this is your DNA for your um, branding template. So everything else is going to come from this concept. So for the letterhead, I can choose to either do some sort of purple border on top where the logo is going to appear in that color. So I could do something like this and have that be my header. Or I could do something like this where it's on white. So I'm just going to move this one off to show you. My other option would be to take this one that's on white and just have that be at the top. So again, you're the designer, your choice. Do you want to go with this kind of look or do you want to go with the more color contrast. Uh, for this one I'm going to go with the purple. Let's just see how it goes. And then I'm going to take this information on the bottom like um, the address and the phone number and the email and we're going to run that along the bottom. So I'll make it a little bit larger. I'm going to separate these out so they have a little bit of a space between them and make sure they're all on the same line. So this, again, keeping that imaginary kind of edge so nothing's touching the corners of the paper or the bottom where it would get cut off. Um, so now I have a pretty basic letterhead, right? So this is where I would type the letter. It's got all the contact info on the bottom. I don't need the person's name because this letter could be coming from anyone at the company. It might not just be John Smith. Um, and the last thing I'd probably want to add is the website. Um, another option with the letterhead is if you don't want to get involved with all this information, you could just take that website. I'm going to flip it to purple now. And I'm going to run that along the bottom. Kind of simple and clean. Because if they go to the website, they're going to find all this information anyway. So that's one way to kind of simplify your design. Uh, so let's just say I go with that for now. Now I got to deal with the envelope. So same concept since I'm already doing this um, here I can't really put a purple bar here because I wouldn't want to mess with the postage stamp. So maybe for the envelope I pull this graphic and then here we're just going to need the return address. And We can make it small. We can align it, justify it right under there. So maybe something like that. Now I could keep this purple bar going by running this along the bottom. So I keep my purple bar theme. I might want to have that also appear on the back. Again, just a choice. It could also appear on the top, but since we're going on the bottom with the front, let's go on the bottom on the back. Um, maybe we make this whole top flap purple. That could be cool. Let's see what that looks like. And then we can run the logo on the back here. All right, so that could be on the back. All right, so there we go. We've got letterhead, business card, um, envelope. That's about all we need for that. Um, again, you could always swap out if you didn't want that there. You could always put this there instead. Or we could go with this instead. But now the letterhead doesn't have the purple bar, which everything else does. So then 
I would take this purple bar and run it along the bottom here. Now in order to make that work with this text though, I would have to turn all this text to white and bring it to the front. So object arrange, bring to front. And then it would be a little hairy to deal with those little icons because it took me a while to change all those colors to purple. Uh, I'm not going to do it on this demo because it would just take too long, but you get the idea that you would be able to see the white on top of the purple. And I'd have to make this bar just a little bit um, taller in order to not get things cut off, right? So imagine my little icons are the right color, even though this one's not. So that's another concept. Although now I feel like this is very bare up here. So I actually like my other version better. So I'm just going to go back to that one. All right. So that's how we did letterhead and envelope. And those are pretty easy once you have this um, decided. Now we're going to move on to uh, the pen, the coffee cup, the notebook, and the iPhone. And those are also, again, pretty easy. So the pen I'm going to make purple, so I'm going to click on the body of the pen there. And then I'm going to eye drop over to my purple color. And I'll take my logo that has the white text because I'm going on to purple. And I'm going to put that on here. Now I want to make sure it doesn't get cut off because then I'd have to deal with masking. And that's pretty difficult to do. So let's just hold shift and contain it on there. So we've got a pen. That could be what the waiters use when they take your order. Um, a notebook. Again, something maybe a restaurant would use. I'm going to eye drop that purple. I'm going to put this same logo on the front. Okay, and for the coffee cup, let's bring that band back. So for this, um, remember back to our Starbucks cup, we can't just go straight across. Well, maybe we can. Probably needs a little bit of a, a curve just to make it look more realistic. And maybe this isn't even printed on the cup. Maybe this is one of those sleeves that you put over an existing cup. Copy paste. There's something about this doesn't look real. I think I uh, messed up the angle too much. But again, I'm not going to spend too much time on it because I don't want to have you sitting here the whole time. Now, um, another thing you could do is you could pull apart the logo and make just a sub mark. So if I take just this part and I make it bigger, that could be like the logo there, right? And then I could take this part and I could put it way down here at the bottom. Or I could get rid of this altogether and I could do the website. And this could be a little promotional giveaway thing. Um, maybe the company is gonna, you know, have some kind of promotional materials that they give away at a trade show or um, to customers. Now this is supposed to be what the home screen of the website would look like. But again, don't get too crazy with it. Um, I'm just gonna make it pretty basic. So I'm gonna make that purple bar, bar at the top going to make my logo in there, right? And then I might take, oh, let's take this piece. And then maybe I'll make like, um, let's see, maybe I'll make a button that says like menu, directions. And it, this is even like, a lot. You guys don't need to even do all this. It's up to you how far you want to take it. Um, we'll call this menu. I'm sure we're all ordering a lot of takeout now, right? Because we're uh, stuck at home. So I know I'm always going online to look up menus for places. Now that's way too big and obnoxious, right? So I'm going to dial that down a lot. Um, you don't want it to overpower uh, the logo. So I might even make that font a little bit lighter. And then we'll do hours. And we'll do directions. And 
all that text could be probably a lot smaller. Maybe we make this white. We bring this down. So we can make this bigger. So here's just a quick, you know, how it might look on an iPhone. If you want to get these things to line up, you can hold shift and click them all with your black arrow. And then you can come up here to the alignment tools and you can do center alignment. And that will put all, everything centered. And there we go. So that's a very quick overview of a branding layout. Um, this is something you could show to a potential investor or a client. And you could say, look, here's my vision for your brand. And here's how it will look on the business card and the letterhead, the envelope. Um, and all the collateral materials that go with it. Um, so this is our end goal for the end of next week. And um, I hope you guys get there. If you have any questions along the way, just ask. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon.